Orchids are everywhere. From the dark rainforest floors to the tallest tree branches, from cracks in mountain cliffs to ordinary garden pots, these plants have adapted to survive in some of the most challenging places on Earth. With over 28,000 species, orchids are one of the largest and most successful plant families in the world. But their success isn't based on strength or speed. It's built on a hidden partnership that begins with deception. Orchid seeds are unbelievably small. They are so tiny and weightless that a gust of wind can carry them for kilometers. But that size comes at a cost. These seeds have almost no food stored inside them. Alone, they cannot sprout or grow. To survive, they depend entirely on microscopic fungi hidden in the soil, on tree bark, or even within rocky surfaces. These fungi provide the young orchids with sugars and nutrients. But this relationship is not friendly at first. When an orchid seed lands, whether on the forest floor, clinging to a tree branch, or wedged between rocks, it immediately begins searching for fungal partners. But instead of offering anything in return, the tiny orchid seedling steals resources from the fungus. It starts its life as a parasite. Without this theft, the orchid could never grow beyond a microscopic stage, as the orchid matures, the relationship changes for many species. Once they develop green leaves, they can produce their own food through photosynthesis. At this stage, orchids like the popular Phalaenopsis, which often grow high on tree branches, or the lady slipper orchids found near forest edges, begin to repay the fungi. The partnership becomes more balanced, the orchid provides food to the fungus, and the fungus continues to help with nutrients. This is the classic form of mutualistic symbiosis, where both sides benefit. But not all orchids follow this rule. Some species remain parasites for life. The ghost orchid of Florida and the Caribbean spends its entire life hidden on tree trunks, without producing proper leaves. The bird's nest orchid of Europe and the coral root orchids of North America grow in the deep forest floor, never developing the ability to photosynthesize. These species survive entirely by drawing energy from the fungi beneath them, giving nothing in return. This complex, shifting relationship shows that symbiosis in nature is rarely simple. It's not always peaceful or balanced. Orchids have mastered this strategy, beginning life with theft, sometimes moving towards cooperation, and in some cases, remaining parasites forever. Their beauty hides a survival story built on both deception and partnership, a story that begins hidden in the soil, on the trees, and even among the rocks.